Hey guys, this story is actually the most trending and biggest news today. A submarine with 5 people on board has been missing since shortly after it set out about 6 am Sunday on June 18, 2023 to explore the site of Titanic shipwreck in the North Atlantic. The 22-foot carbon fiber and titanium craft called the Titan was deployed by a Canadian expedition ship, the MV Polar Prince, to travel nearly 13,000 feet down to the shipwreck site on the ocean floor of Newfoundland. The Titan lost contact with the surface ship about an hour and 45 minutes after it started to dive on Sunday. Guys, this is a nightmare. They might still be trapped underwater as we speak right now. I cannot imagine the terrors they must be feeling. The issue with this whole thing is that reaching Titanic is unfathomably risky. If something goes wrong, you don't really have a backup plan, which is exactly what has happened to them in the Titan. The sub was part of an 8-day journey conducted by the Ocean Gate Expeditions. They first traveled 400 nautical miles to the wreck site, which is about 900 miles off the coast of Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Ma Massachusetts. I'm sorry guys, I cannot, I cannot pronounce that. English is not my first language. You get the idea, right? I mean this one. So at the time they lost contact, if they were 1 hour and 45 minutes into their descent, that means they have already gotten to an insane depth. Therefore, immediately, a rescue operation began later that day, but they don't know what to do. How could you even find them? They don't even have a way to track them. With no GPS underwater, the submarine is only guided by text messages from the surface ship. If communications broke down during a dive, the submarine would be lost for good. The most confusing thing about this whole story is that no one knows what happened to this submarine. If they do expeditions to Titanic shipwreck, they must have a backup plan, right? They must know what to do if something like this were to happen. While the names of the five missing people have not been made public, British businessman Hamish Harding, French diver Paul Henry, and a Pakistani billionaire and his son have all been confirmed to be on board. Now, can we truly hope that they would survive? I have no idea, but the submarine is designed to carry 96 hours of oxygen for 5 people on board. So by Thursday, the US Coast Guard said the 5 people in the Titan have about 40 hours of oxygen left. That gives authorities until about early Thursday to locate and retrieve the vessel. But it's not going to be easy. The remote location is just unknown, we have no idea where they are right now. The local weather conditions, the state of the submarine, because well, if they lost contact, that must mean something happened to the submarine, so we don't know the condition of it. And also, the extraordinary depth of the ocean in the area they went missing are some of the challenges. The deepest ever underwater rescue was that of Roger Chapman and Roger Malinson who were rescued from a submarine at a depth of over 1500 feet in 1973. They were trapped for 76 hours before finally being hauled to the surface. But the Titanic wreckage is much deeper, sitting nearly 13,000 feet below sea level. Some experts have pointed out that since submarines typically are able to shed weight for additional buoyancy, it might be near the surface. But here's the thing, even if they reach the surface, the door is bolted from the outside, meaning they cannot open the door of the submarine from the inside. Someone has to be outside to open the door. So what does that mean? Well, they are still at a risk of running out of oxygen even if they are at the surface. Yeah, they could be alive as we speak right now, but how long would they be able to continue? They must be panicking which could also lead to wasting a lot more oxygen. In reality, they may not last as long as we think. Something has to be done immediately. I'll keep you guys updated on this story. For now, that's all. See ya.